Princess Charlene and Prince Albert II's twin children Jacques and Gabriella attended their first day of school on Monday. But they could be accompanied to their state-of-the-art institute only by their father, as Princess Charlene remains stuck in her homeland, South Africa, due to an ENT infection. On Monday, Prince Jacques, and Princess Gabriella, who are turning seven in December, walked with their father to France section Oise DTMSC Nicolas Bar Copyright, FANV, a Catholic school. The adorable twins wore the school's red polo shirt and a face covering bearing the school's crest on one side. Prince Albert had previously spoken about educating his children at home during the lockdown. He told People magazine earlier this year, they TM re not doing calculus or anything like that yet, which is what I TMLL have a little problem with. His children, he added, were eager to learn more about geography and science. He said, we went through a whole phase of them wanting to know all about the oceans and planets and everything about the solar system. Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella's first day of school followed the twins' official trip to Dublin with their father another key moment Princess Charlene was forced to miss. Speaking about the visit, which took place on Friday, the Morning Osk Palace wrote on Facebook, the sovereign was presented with a scroll in recognition of his contribution as a benefactor to the conservation of the old library of Trinity College. A dedication ceremony for a frieze bearing the names of their highnesses Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene also took place. This inscription can be found on the university benefactor's wall located in the dining hall. A frieze bearing the name of HSH Prince Albert II was also unveiled in the gallery of the long room of the old library alongside the founding donors of the library. This visit to Dublin is an extension of the existing links between Trinity College and Monaco. It also marks the 60th anniversary of Prince Rainier and Princess Grace's state visit in 1961 and the 10th anniversary of Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene TMS first state visit in 2011. Princess Charlene traveled to South Africa in May to carry out conservation work with her foundation. However, she remained grounded there after developing an infection following a sinus lift and bone graft held in preparation for dental implants. The princess and Olympian has since undergone three surgeries, the last taking place in mid-August. After her surgery, Prince Albert said in a statement, the operation went well, Princess Charlene is resting and we are thinking of her with tenderness. Last week, Albert also said his wife was ready to come home before adding the return date will very much depend on what her doctor says. In July, the princess said she was expecting to remain grounded in her homeland until late October, stressing she cannot force healing but following her last successful operation, Prince Albert appeared hopeful she would be able to fly home sooner. He said, I know she's said possibly late October but that was before this most recent round of appointments. I'm pretty sure we can cut that time frame a little short. Prince Albert's positive outlook on his wife's recovery was published before it emerged Princess Charlene had suffered a health scare on the first day of September, when she was hospitalized. The Morningosk Palace revealed on Friday, on the night of September 1st, Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene of Monaco, was taken to hospital after becoming ill due to complications from a serious ENT infection. Her Highness is being closely followed by her medical team, who say her condition is reassuring. The Royal has since been discharged. During her month stranded in South Africa, Princess Charlene was reunited with her family on two occasions, in June and in late August.